What's up? Oh, damn it. Hit my microphone right off the bat. What's up, old friends? Um, back for some more Pokemon and coffee. It's early in the morning. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, normally, I have a lot of natural light coming in, but I got a lot of stuff to do today, so we are filming before the sun is up. Um, but I did get my workout in, so I'll count that as a win. Today, we're going to be opening up a Charizard premium box. I'll go get it in a second. Um, as you guys know, I'm a Gen 1-er. Boomer of the Pokemon world. I know. Been playing the game since like 96 or 97. Um, so yeah, let's get into this thing. Thanks for bearing with me. Like I said, the light should be better once I put this thing on the desk. But this is what we got. Sword and Shield, Charizard, Ultra Premium Box, or Collection. Um, right off the bat, man, I like the sleekness of it. I like the white. Um, so Sometimes Pokemon can get a little too colorful with their stuff. Um, so going back to the basics sometimes is pretty cool. But anyway, let's get into it. All right. Let's try, try to move this through this a little quickly. Um, I'm trying to make this video forever. I know there's a lot in this box. Um, today I'm opening it up with my CRKT hunting fishing knife. Uh, this is one of my dailies, as you can see, through the patina in the sheath. I carry this thing pretty regularly. I'm a country boy, what can I say? Um, let's Open it up. Slide. There's a little thing with everything that we're going to have inside this box. Pretty cool. Super excited for some of the alternate art stuff. Let's see, how's this thing even open? Uh, it's got magnets. That's fancy. One thing I, I did notice on this thing, man, is they have like a Godzilla looking Charizard on here. Which is pretty epic, really. And we got these little tabs to pull this guy out. Ooh. Move this aside so we have some more room while I get to this. Oh, man. Might have a new play mat. Look at that, dude. <laughs> Whoever designed this thing, man, was just like, yeah, we're going to go full on Godzilla with Charizard this time. Get a swallow of coffee. Pretty slick. Not, near as, not as big as the uh, 25th year celebration set, but... Pretty cool, nonetheless. Moving on. What else do we got here? Oh, cool. I don't know if you can see that, but... I got the old school classic, like, Fire Red Charizard. And then, of course, the uh, Godzilla Charizard, what I'm going to call him. Off the bat. Look at that, dude. Alright. Oh, and you guys will get all the codes. I'm not worried about them. Haven't mastered the uh, fast opening packs yet. So bear with me. 
Um, there's your codes. Oh, upside down. Start a little trash pile. Man, oh man. There's a little Venusaur in the background. Well, not a little Venusaur. It looks like Charizard is like... I don't know. I, get, I don't know if him and Venus were battling or what. Oh, there's probably a terrible glare. I don't know. Let me maybe even turn this light off. Alright. Some technical difficulties. Sorry. Still new with this whole thing. But yeah, as I was saying, so you got this Venusaur in the background. Um, I guess Charizard just lit up the forest. And I don't know if he's hiding or taking a nap or what. But anyway, super cool. Super cool. There he is. Full on Godzilla Charizard V Max. Oh man. It's all, it reminds me of like Game of Thrones even. Pretty freaking cool. Epic as I'll get out. This one might be my favorite. You got Mewtwo in the background. I guess him and Charizard are just straight up battling right now. What a, is that a tentacle in the background over here? I don't know. But how cool would it be to see this this fight animated? Which I know they did in Pokemon Origins. They did do a little fight. But this looks to be like a high energy type of fight battle if you will pretty cool pretty cool all right guys super excited about those add those to my collections in this first drawer here we got some lost origins that yeah some more lost origins astro radiance and look at the alternative form of uh, Typhlosion there. I love Typhlosion, but man, he does just, just, he just, I love the OG Charizard. What can I say? Astral Radiance, Astral Radiance, Brilliant Stars, Charizard on the front, Brilliant Stars, Brilliant Stars. All right, let's get into these packs. Um, I think the card trick is four, maybe. So one, two, three, four. Get this little V star right on the front. I'm not real sure what these things are, what they do. I don't know if they have to do with the the actual card game or or what. I'm an old school player, so not sure. Good old Weevil in the city. Friends of Galar, Executor, classic, sitting on the beach, Electabuzz. For those that don't know, in the old school Pokemon card game, Electabuzz and Hitmonchan were like the beasts of the game. Shinx, playing with his tail. Nasty Grimer, classic. Duskull. Oh, far-fetched. Check out the art on that one. I'll be honest, it kind of looks like a like a fourth grader drew it. But, I dig it. Dude, Jolteon with blue in the background. Jolteon's my favorite Eeveelution, for sure. For sure. I always had it on my team back in the old school red and blue days. Uh, but to see blue in the background, or Gary as the anime fans know him as, that's a cool... I don't know what this card's worth, but pretty freaking cool. And then, uh, Warmadam. Maybe it's three cards, not four. Super cool. Love the Jolteon.
There's that. One, two, three. We'll try three this time. Blunder policy. I need to get back into the card game and know what all these stuff, all these things are. Pichirisu. How do you say that? Pichirisu. Kind of like a Pikachu clone, I'm assuming. Marnie's pride, like the prince of all Saiyans. Chimchar's freaking cool, man. Looks like he's sitting there eating some devil fruit, though. That might be the the strongest Chimchar you've ever seen. Chimicho. Golet. I think it looks like a crazy mech. There's one in the background, too. Corfish. Some of these Pokemon are literally just animals, though. I wish we could admit that. Sock. Now, as a martial artist, I definitely can appreciate the gi. Um, I'm sure that sock worked really hard for that black belt. Oh, dude. Mewtwo. Sitting there with a... Well, it says Cyburn, but that looks like a Shadow Ball if I've ever seen one. Hollow. Well, hollow background. Super cool. And then a professor's research. Classic professor's research. Oh, and the energy. Go figure. Alright. On to the next. Alright. I think this, this video is going to require me to do some editing for sure. I'm going to keep jacking up my camera. on the front. Ruin that one. Card for the back. Two, three. No, it is four. No, yeah, it's four. I had it right the first time. Green energy. Uh, leaf energy. Monferno to go with our Infernape. Well, Chimchar. Staravia. The Brava turns into a really cool Pokemon. Flygon. There's the star you I ruined. Magmar. With a Christmas theme, it looks. At least the snow and thing looks like it was drawn with a color pencil. Pretty sweet. A throw to go with our sock. Once again, martial artist. Love the gi. Actually, I hate training in the gi, though. I'm a no gi guy for sure, but I can respect it. He worked hard for his black belt. Halucha. Buzil. Oh, the Ultra Ball. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Shiny. Classic. Oh, cool. Full art. Grand Bull. Pretty epic. Sweet. Moving right along. That's all the first drawer. Even the drawers are kind of lined. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. All right. On to the next. Get through this one. Appreciate your patience. I'm not the best editor, so. Right off the bat, we got Pokemon coin. It's actually got some weight to it, too. I'm not sure if it's metal or plastic, but I think it's metal. It's got some weight, unlike the uh, the previous ones that we opened last time. And we got a little V-Star magnet. Sweet. Back to the packs. Okay. Jolteon's my favorite, but Umbreon's pretty cool. The Evolving Skies packs. Looks to be just like a skyscraper. Or is that some kind of mega Pokemon I'm not sure about? Yeah. Rayquaza. On the Evolving Skies. Freaking Mew. Love him. Or her. Fusion Strikes. Gengar. Cool. Let's get through it.
There's your card, code card. One, two, three, four. Psychic energy. All right, little schoolgirl. Adventurer's discovery. Trivenant. It's a haunted tree. Watch out. And probably the only thing more scary than a haunted tree is a jinx. That thing is creepy looking. I always thought so. Skarmory. What a cool bird. One of the best. Sawaddle. Bug Pokemon. Panpour. Looks like it was drawn with like colored pencils. Pretty cool. Enjoy the art. Makohita. Oh, there's several of them. There's three of them training on uh, what looks like Master Roshi's. No, not Master Roshi's. Uh, Grandpa Gohan's mountain range. Yeah, we got to cook. Make some good food. You know, Oricario. Hmm. Sweet. On to the next. Let's open up this Gengar pack. Code card. One, two, three, four. Lightning. Sligu. Dreadnaw. Snapping turtles. Here in Texas, we got some pretty nasty snapping turtles. Um, they look like dinosaurs, but you don't want one to get a hold of you. Elisa Sparkle. Literally just a shrimp. <laughs> I'm not a hater. Oh, but Mankey. With a color pencil looking art. I dig it. I dig it. I just love the... And then the old like Dragon Ball Z style eyes that Pokemon used to have. Which just made everybody look sharper. You know. Zigzagoon. Black and white one. Chansey. <laughs> oh, Vulpix. Bringing back memories. Love it. A bell tall. Shiny. Like it. Antillion. Full art. V. Pretty sweet to see. Alright. Moving right along. Code card. One, two, three, four. All right. Fighting energy. The nine tails to go with our bowl picks. Super cool. Love to see it. Manda buzz. Literally just a buzzard. <laughs> this pre evolved form is like a fat little thing. That's funny. Clazor. Bat with claws. What's scarier than that? My phone's acting up. Sorry, guys. Shroomish. Choodle. Onyx. Now, they do Onyx a disservice here. Onyx is this giant rock snake that literally the tackle move should kill most Pokemon or faint most Pokemon. However... They make him super weak in the video games for some reason. And, man, I hate it. Because everybody loved loved him whenever he was with Brock. And, uh, yeah. I hate what they did to my boy. Oh, I'm ruining cards here. Meowth. Classic. Speaking of Team Rocket, huh? Dew Spider. Dew Dupiter. Huh. Well, interesting. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of this Pokemon. But it's hollow. It's pretty cool. A Maractus. Huh. All right, all right. Moving right along.
code card. One, two, three, four. We got a fire energy. Stantler, creepy deer with eyes for antlers. Another Glyzor. Oh, jeez. The noon. Hmm. Galarian form. Azora. Pretty cute. Kind of an Eevee clone though. Dark version. Dynamo. I'm gonna take it in that it's pretty tiny. 0.7 pounds. Hmm. Glavibus. Blanary. Cute Pokemon. Totodile. Probably my favorite my favorite Gen 2 starter is uh Totodile. The Freligator line is just super cool. High attack power too. Musharna. Hmm. Ooh, and a Swampert. And then probably my favorite Gen 3. Swampert. Maybe. I don't know. Gosh. The Gen 3, all three stars are pretty sweet, right? Alright. Bear with me. Code card. One, two, three, four. Psychic. Perserker. Mm, kind of reminds me of a primate. Kind of mixed with a with a charm on its head, kind of like Meowth. Interesting. I like I like learning about these new Pokemon. Ooh, Fusion Strike Energy. Elder Gross. Grubbin. Looks like it was knitted. I don't know. Can you see that? Interesting. Mantine. Creepy Jinx. Skarmory again. Swaddle again. With a little hollow meowth. And a zuma roll. Sweet. So I'm in the middle of repairing a uh, sticker machine that I'm actually going to put Pokemon cards in for my little uh, little warriors and my, and my uh, martial arts classes that I teach. MMA classes. There's your code. Um, so bear with me. I might, I might post some videos about me repairing that thing, and uh, getting it in service. And then we might actually do some like daily draws with it. I think that'd be pretty cool. Fire energy. Ribbon badge. Flaffy. Herdier. Love disc. Man, some of these designs just get lazy with Pokemon though. Fletchling. Chinchu. Tile. Delino. I, I have a love for the dragons, though, I gotta say. Ah, a little hollow Eldegross. And a Smeargle. Sweet. Be cool if we get a really cool pool, which I'm already happy with. Just the the Charizards, man, it's it's amazing. Code card. Two, three, four. Fighting energy. Scrafty. I bet he's scrappy. Background looks pretty Blaine though. Plain, not Blaine. Snow leaf badge. Hippodon, a grounded hippo. Ground type hippo is pretty amazing. Hmm. Another Chincho, another Dino. Pumpkapu, huh? Little little haunted pumpkin, I'm assuming. Carvana. It is funny. Carvana is literally a car company now. I wonder if Pokemon copyrighted that. <laughs> Oh, a Bagon. Sweet. And a Drompa. It's kind of like a droopy looking dragon. 
9 feet 10 inches, 407 pounds. Yeah, you don't want to jack with it, though, huh? All right. Last pack of this drawer. I don't know if we got any more in the, uh, in the other drawer. We'll find out. But I bet we're getting close on here. Code card. Electric energy. Oh, we got some more fusion strikes up, up here. Bravery. Oh man, that's a cool looking bird. Four foot 11, 90 pounds. Jeez. Switching cups. Tinto cruel. You remember in Pokemon where they had that giant episode where like he was huge? It's always in the beginning of the Pokemon theme song. Teddy Ursa. Feebas. Hop it. Ah, uh, Hitmonchan. Throwing a right cross. Hands in good position. Love to see it. A true boxer. Um, as I said before, man, Hitmonchan and uh, Electabuzz were like the cards to have in your deck back in the day. Fletchling. Zwillis. I think I'm saying that right. Double-headed dragon moving up the chain. Looks like I've already got some scratches though. Oh, and a Glaceon V, full art. I've gotta say, like I said, Jolteon's my fave, but uh, Glaceon's pretty cool too. All the evolutions, you can't lose really. All right. Astro Radiant. There you go. One, two, three, four. Fire Energy. Zisu. Golduck. Way cool in the anime. You got your Pit Vipers. Oh, I'm sorry. Super effective glasses. Drift Loon. A Haunted Balloon. What a funny design. Psyduck to go with our gold duck. Cute old Togepi. Togepi was the very first Johto Pokemon ever released. He was in the uh, first, first couple seasons of Pokemon before even Johto was even announced. Alright, so plenty of technical difficulties. Ran out of storage on my phone. I keep bumping my camera. My, my microphone keeps jacking up. This is all good practice. This is the only second video I've ever made, so uh, bear with me, everybody. Which you guys might even like this better. I don't know. But I pretty much pulled all of the uh, rares and uh, good cards that I got out of this out of these packs. And I figured we'll just run through those real quick. Call it good. Um, and I will review the final little deal that we have in this drawer. But um, <laughs> I appreciate the patience with me, guys. Right off the bat, uh, Porygon Z pretty cool I do like the uh, kind of the digital art background you know say Bly sitting there chomping down some diamonds Rhyhorn one of my favorites you know like in the old school games they would say that he was pretty much unstoppable he would just run through stuff um, and like through buildings and stuff which makes you think in real life if Pokemon were real how much damage would they just do on the regular basis. Anyway. Mill Tank, the bane of all Gen 3, or no, Gen 2 players. Third gym battle. That freaking Mill Tank with rollout was ridiculous. Burgemite. Literally just a, a, a chunk of ice that's alive. It's, I don't know. Original. <laughs> Lilligant. Look at the legs on that thing. How fast can that thing run? Zwellius. Two-headed dragon. Staring off in the distance. Well, he would be staring in the distance if he had eyes. I think he's going through his emo phase. Bagon. 
not as cool as Dratini, but still pretty cool. El de Gross. Oh, I just realized that. They reused the background on this. Did y'all see that? Huh. Meowth. Swampert. Man, Gen 3 had some cool starters. Um, but Swampert's were definitely probably my main go-to. Musharna. Musharna? Musharna? I don't know how you say that. The pink blob. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to say this one. I think, I am assuming he's some kind of fish thing. Veltal. Crazy. Huge bird. 19 feet tall. 447 pounds. Ultra Ball. The thing you catch that thing with. Professor's Research. Going back to the old school. They had this card all the way back in the original card game. I guess it's still pretty uh, prevalent today. Or used. Mewtwo. Possibly the Mewtwo that's fighting Charizard. <laughs> Six foot seven, two hundred and seventy pounds. He's a heavyweight UFC champion if I've ever seen one. Heatran. Not my favorite design. I do love the full art though on him. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Glaceon V. Now we're getting to somewhere. I love the Evolutions. Jolteon's certainly my favorite, but Glaceon's pretty cool. You can't go wrong. Inteleon V. I like the background here. Granbull. What a cool card. I pulled this earlier and was pretty happy about it. Um, Jolteon's certainly my favorite of the Evolutions. Um, and it's cool that you got blue in the background. Or Gary, if, uh, if you're an anime watcher. Charizard V Star. The whole one of the whole reasons I got this whole set is just these alternate art cards. You know, you you got Charizard fighting Mewtwo, um, and there's there's other Pokemon that are having to deal with this in the background. Like you got this little Diglet down here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you got this little Diglet that's just being interrupted. <laughs> anyway, and then you got the Godzilla sword. Man, pretty cool, pretty cool. And then the Charizard taking a nap after he just burned down the forest with Venusaur in the back. Awesome, love to see it. Um, the final drawer, all it had was some of these uh, sleeves. I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of them. Um, I wanna like them, I like the Charizard. But this red background or red border doesn't do anything for me. Um, the picture's pretty low resolution, too. And then these new sleeves, what they've done, too, is they're, like, foggy, you know? And if you have really cool cards, you want to be able to see them really well. But it puts this little, I don't know, fog over them. I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. I didn't even check the centering or anything. Not the best, but pretty cool. So, that's the Charizard box. Um, sorry for the technical difficulties. Couldn't get them all opened and all the reveal or whatever, but um, it is what it is. I'm going to get better at this whole thing. Uh, thanks for allowing me to be able to buy cards and get things going for my kiddos, for my kids uh, martial arts class. I use these cards for prizes and stuff. They're really into Pokemon. Um, so it really helps out, helps me out. On to the next, uh, we'll probably be doing these coffee and Pokemon cards pretty regularly. Um, I'm not going to set myself on a, a strict schedule. I'm a pretty busy guy, but, um, anyway, on to the next. Appreciate y'all.